Recycle Every Day, written and illustrated by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. That means she not only wrote the words, but she drew all the pictures also. Recycle Every Day. Outside, it was raining. Mina was sitting on a chair singing, Recycle, recycle, recycle. Why are you singing recycle, Mina? Asked mom. The children at school have been asked to make posters about recycling. The ones that get picked will be in the community recycling calendar. I'm trying to think of a really different idea for my poster. What does recycle mean? Asked Pip. Is it like a bicycle? Mina giggled. Recycling is when you reuse or fix things instead of throwing them away. Did you know we recycle all the time? Asked Dad. We can help you with ideas. On Monday, they looked through their closets and dressers. I haven't worn this in years, said Mom. I really grew, said Mina. Look, Mina, I grew too, says Pip. This never fit, said Dad. They bundled up the clothes and brought them to the community clothing bank. Passing along clothes in good condition to others is a form of recycling, said Mom. That would make a terrific poster. I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Tuesday, Mina and Dad cleaned up the yard. They put all the leaves and grass and weeds into the compost maker. This will turn into nice, rich soil for our garden, said Dad. What a super idea for your poster. I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Wednesday, Mina, Pip, and Mom gathered up all their empty cans. They brought them to the return machines at the recycling center. Scrunch, boing, scrunch, boing. What's happening inside that machine, Mina? Pip asked. The machine is squishing the cans. Then they will be made into new cans, she explained. Pip danced. Look, Mina, I'm doing the can-can. The can machine is a good idea for your poster, Mina. I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Thursday, Mina and Mom got, in, got their tote bags and they walked to the grocery store. In the cereal aisle, Mina pointed, there's the recycling symbol. These boxes were made from recycling paper. That means trees were saved. That's why we use tote bags too, said mom. Is our trip to the grocery store giving you any ideas for your poster, Mina? I'm still thinking, she answered. On Friday, Mina and Pip looked through their books. When I was a tiny baby, I liked this one, said Pip. The magic carrot patch, said Mina. That used to be my favorite. I must have read it a million times. Mina and Pip piled up seven books and they took them to Books for Every Bunny. Thank you, said Mrs. Libro. We'll give your gently used books to children who might not have any. Every bunny needs a book. Look, Mina, posters, said Pip. Are you still thinking? Mina nodded. When they, on Saturday, they had supper and when they finished, Mina helped wrap the leftovers. To reduce waste, use plastic containers instead of plastic wrap, said Dad. Will that idea work for your poster? I'm almost done thinking, said Mina. On Sunday, Mom asked, isn't the art for the poster contest due tomorrow? Nina nodded. She began to see, sing, recycle on Monday, recycle on Tuesday, recycle on Wednesday, Suddenly, Mina knew what she wanted to do. Mina gathered scissors, a glue stick, markers, and her pink polka dotted pencil. She got out her box of used envelopes, old folders, scraps of found paper, and then she started to work. The next day, Mina brought her poster to school. Please, please, please pick mine, she whispered to herself. Monday? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday went by. Finally, it was the day when the children would find out whose poster had been chosen for the calendar. Mr. Turner, the first selectman, spoke at the school assembly. If everybody does their part, together we can make the world a cleaner, 
greener place. And now I have the pleasure of announcing the names of the artists whose posters have been chosen. January is Emily's. It says ring, ring, ring. Don't forget to recycle your phone book. February is Kyle. It says put empty containers in the recycling bin. March is Carrie. Reuse plastic bottles. April is Lexi. Give toys you don't play with anymore to others. May is Tyrone. Buy big, a big container equals less dumping in the dump. June is Timothy. Important news, recycle newspapers. July is Lindsay. Scratch paper message pad. You cut paper into squares, you staple, and you draw a picture. August is Aaron. Reuse wrapping paper. It's a gift to our world. September is Lauren. Lunch bag. Paper? No. Fabric? Yes. October is Dave. Your old glasses can help someone else see. November was Miguel. Did you know that 1,050 milk jugs might be recycled into a park bench? And for December, Mina whispered to herself, please, please, please. Vanessa, said Mr. Turner. Vanessa's poster shows us how to make a bird feeder by recycling a plastic milk container. What a wonderful December holiday gift it would make. This will be our best community recycling calendar ever, said Mr. Turner. I want to close with... Mina's upset. Our cover artist... Mina! She even used recycled paper. Mina's poster tells us to re-re-remember to re-re-recycle every day. Say it with me. Re-re-remember, re-re-recycle every day. Everybody, re-re-remember, re-re-recycle every day. And that is the end. So Mina's poster got to be on the front of the whole calendar. And here's the months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December.